Hey guys and gals, how we doing? It's me, Joe Sires, back here for the Music Factory Studios. One thing I've seen online since Big Sur has came out for Mac OS is how terrible the fonts look. Well, I think I've found a solution for this, and we're going to walk through how to set it up and fix those things now, okay? So first thing you want to do is go to your Utilities folder. If you don't have your Application and Utilities folder in the dock, all you have to do is go open finder grab applications and just drag it down here to the dock and then you'll have your applications folder in the dock which is really nice you can also do your utilities folder by just scrolling down to the end of your applications finding the utilities folder and dragging it to the dock once you've done that right click on it and change it to folder instead of stack <laughs> that way it doesn't look like a jumbled mess in your dock and you can have it be you know a list or a fan which I don't really care for because you don't get to see everything but if you put it on automatic it'll make it like a little grid so that way you can just scroll through them and get to your apps quicker and not have your dock full of stuff even though I do anyway so open your utilities folder okay and click on terminal okay open the terminal and here's the command defaults space dash current host and the H needs to be capitalized space right space dash G space capital a Apple font smoothing and each word needs to be capitalized Apple font and smoothing so the a F and S must be capitalized space dash int and then you can choose how much you want the font to be smoothed okay the default is three what you see on my screen right now is actually zero and i'm using a 1080p external screen now on my retina macbook pro is which is what i'm actually using right now okay but as you can see here the font isn't that great but on the retina screen it looks really really good so if all you use is your macbook pros retina screen you can put it on zero and be perfectly fine but if you want font smoothing on external screens if you keep an external screen hooked up all the time to your mac you may want to have some font smoothing so what we're going to do is i'm going to you can look up here on the screen and see the font what I'm going to do, I'll have this, this command in the description. So all you have to do is literally copy, come over to the terminal, and paste it. And then at the very end, just click here at the very end, and type the font level you want. I'm going to go back to the default font of 3, just so we can see what that looks like. Hit enter, and it's done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to log out real quick and log back in. So let's log out of our Mac. Okay. We'll log out and now we'll log back in. You don't have to do a complete restart for it to work. Just a log out and log back in. And now you can see how much cleaner the fonts are. And you can choose one, two, or three in the font smoothing to make it however, you know, deep of a font smoothing you actually want. So what we'll do now is we'll open the terminal again, okay? And we will, where's the font smoothing? Okay, there it is. And we will copy. go to our terminal and paste it and this time we'll just do a font smoothing of one now the first font you saw was zero if you type in zero there will be no font smoothing it looks perfectly fine on a retina screen so there's one so you can have a look here at the mac os um, information and see what the font looks like the system font and now we're just gonna 
log out. And we'll log back in. And you can notice that there's a little bit of font smoothing happening there. And it's not as drastic. It looks pretty good on the retina screen. But on this, even on a 1080p external screen, it looks really, really good. And the reason I did this is because really font smoothing isn't really an issue if you're using one of the retina screens. You could go with zero and you wouldn't even notice it. There's no jagged edges. Everything looks fine. But if you hook up to an external screen and the most common external screens are 1080p. So I thought I would show it this way. So those are the options. If you don't really care about font smoothing and want to get rid of the blockiness on Big Sur, just type in the command or copy and paste the command and then put a zero, one space after the uh, command, go one space after and put either zero, one, two, or three. If you've, if you're using Big Sur and you absolutely hate the font the way it looks now, that is a three. Okay, that is all the way up. Three is the maximum. Zero is the minimum. So those are your choices. All right, guys and gals, I hope that helps somebody out. If it did, thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more and hit the little bell for notifications if you want to see our new videos here at the Music Factory Studios. We cover everything from Mac OS to Windows to Linux, as well as Pro Audio and other things of that nature. All right, guys and gals, since you're already here on YouTube, check out one of these videos on your screen now. We'll see you next time. Have a great day, y'all.